Hi there, hope you're doing fine. This is my video restoring this base. It's Yamaha base. I bought it for 50 euros from my friend. Actually, my friend found it. The base was found in the trash. The base is very beautiful, but also dirty. I wouldn't even want to touch it when it's this dusty and greasy. It's clearly seen better days. So now it's time to clean it. Let's go ahead and start here. What I found out is actually that toothbrush is making really good progress with this one. Very good frets by the way. It looks like it's not being played a lot even. care all of the fingerprints here now there is the serial number actually UJL193376 shiny it is now like very big difference you can see it's been played standing oh there is some belt marks They are in good shape. The fretboard is really dry, so I'm going to be oiling that. Before that I want to try and make a new head nut for the stock. For the video I want to try something creative and see where my craftsmanship takes me. There is this gap here, you know, I'm gonna use that as a tool. We're trying to make this fit here. I don't know what happened. It should be there, the mark. You know. I'm gonna be trusting my eye with this one and just gonna like shape this here manually. The width of it is pretty good now. Now I just need to find the right height to it and then draw the gaps for the strings. Collecting the dust and out it goes. I used my ESP LTD X360 nut as a model and compared a little bit of the profile of it. I was also thinking that bass strings are thicker, so taking that to account. I was getting closer and closer to the intended size for the nut, but for a safe measure I didn't sand it too thin, so I left it to be a little bit bulky. I marked positions for the strings just with my eye. Then I worked the corners so they weren't so sharp. I didn't want to file too deep gaps for the strings, so I was trying to be extra careful there. I used string thickness also to guide me a little bit. Super slinky 45 to 100 were the strings of my choice. And there is my beautiful nut. I think it will do. When oiling necks, I love to use WD-40. To me it's pretty high quality oil and makes the fretboard smell good. Just add plenty of oil. Yeah, this 
smells really good, this stuff. This feels also good. Now I'm gonna glue this in. have to use it so much and this is the heavy string and wipe the excess this is very quickly drying it's good to hold it for one minute it's not perfect and I will change this part but it looks good I have to say it is maybe a little bit too high to me it's important to just to make the bass play When I attached the strings, I noticed that the bass pickups were lacking the screws. So there was this horrible fret bus happening. Or actually, it was pickup buzz. Because only the pickups were causing it. Someone really didn't know what they were doing when taking that apart or putting it back together. It's not fun when there is parts missing. <laughs> what has been done with this face? <laughs> this is just so horrendous. Screw you! Let's see. Is this enough? Let's see. If it goes through, it's enough. Yeah, it does. This would work also. But of, of course, it's storks. Screw with the you. Screw with the you. Spare screw you somewhere. I happened to find Torx screws which were long enough to do the work. I realized to do this fix I actually wouldn't have to take the strings off. The reason I took them off was because I thought there is something wrong with the pickup lifting mechanism. To my surprise the screws work kind of like upside down compared to how they work with all of my other guitars. And there you can see almost all of them. With all of them it raises the pickups when tightened. With this bass, it was other way around. That made me confused. I think I can make this bass work, you know. Okay, there is a problem, I see. The setup of the bridge was horrible. It was set way too low. Unfortunately, I didn't have a guitar toolkit in my studio right now. But I was very lucky to be able to lift the bridge with just my Philips screwdriver. Beautiful! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Like, do you see me? See me through this? I did a final cleaning and cut off the excess part of strings. Then little tuning with amplitude guitar tuner. Time for the final test. <laughs> <laughs>